I think ethics is really, really important to consideration of any form of, of technology and new technologies in particular. When it comes to kind of autonomous road vehicles, it's kind of the same situation and especially in that case because we're talking about devices and, and tech that people will be using on a daily basis and that also really, really importantly could actually impact and significantly impact people's lives. It's important for us to consider ethics when we're designing uh, road vehicles for the same reason it's important for us to consider ethics for so many AI applications, similar to a, a loyalty card, we might have ethical questions around uh, what sort of things we should advertise to different people and the vulnerable people concerned in that. But those ethical considerations are heightened when we're in certain instances, like things where we might have life or death situations. On the roads, that's absolutely essential because if there is an accident, that could have a very significant impact on people's lives. If we think about what's already happening, ethical decisions are already being taken by the designers of the systems. They are not designing cars to go out and run people over, for example, they are designing cars to be safe. Really what this is about is thinking about the other ethical things that need to be taken into account. So I don't really think we can have one singular answer for what the most important question is. Uh, so many of these are going to be context specific, so it might be that uh, you've got a different ethical question which is particularly important if you are the, the driver or the passenger as it may be in the autonomous vehicle. It could be a very different ethical question if you're the developer or if you're someone who is kind of buying and implementing these vehicles on a large scale. So we've got to kind of tailor what we look at for those different scenarios. We can also ask, you know, what are the important ethical questions to consider with automated vehicles? Personally, I think the most important one isn't the classic problem of how do you avoid killing a certain number of people in a certain crash scenario. For me, it's the everyday driving and the sort of uncertainty under which automated driving is going to progress. So vehicles are not going to know with 100% certainty what is happening around them all the time. How do we want them to treat that uncertainty? We know that human drivers, when they're less certain of what's going on, they do things like slow down and adjust their driving style. That to me is the important thing. How do we want automated vehicles to deal with that uncertainty? I think really it's not probably necessarily an ethical question, but it's more how do we translate what kind of happens at the ethical level to actually code? and actually transferring these kind of guidance, these principles to actually actionable ways in which we can make decisions in the code, if it's machine learning and these type of different uh, applications. And how do you kind of bridge that gap for me is a kind of main big question. The issue of who should be responsible for ethical behaviour is really like the question about who should be responsible for safety. I think in a sense we all have some responsibility, but rather like safety we have vehicles which are highly regulated and we also have driver behaviour which is uh, regulated through, through laws and things like the highway code. So I think we need something similar for, for the ethical dimension. I think there's one particular thing I would kind of encourage people to look out for this, which is if you want someone to take responsibility for ethical behaviour or kind of any decision of that nature, that person absolutely needs to be able to have the say, the responsibility over it. It's, it's no good saying that it's the responsibility of our developers to ensure that there's correct or ethical behaviour of a system if they don't have the ability to say yes or no to that, if really that decision goes to their manager. If you want to give ethical responsibility, make sure that they do have the responsibility and the ability to say yes or no to these things. 